Hello everyone. So I welcome you all in this lecture and today we are going to talk about binary search tree which is also called as BS tree. Binary search tree is a important data structure. It is used for the implementation of many applications. When we talk about uh, self balancing trees, it is actually done on binary search trees like like the we uh, like we have AVL trees, we have uh, red black trees. So binary search tree in general help us to make our effic operations efficient. So if you are having an application where you are uh, uh, doing operations like insertion, uh, deletion, searching, then this BST, that binary search tree will make all these operations very efficient, means the running time will be reduced. So we'll see that what exactly the binary search tree and, uh, and what are the applications where binary search tree will be useful. So let's start. Okay, so let's understand what is binary search tree. So binary search tree, as the name suggests, it is a binary tree, and we call it as a ordered binary tree. So when we say binary tree, binary tree is a tree where every node can have at most two child, but we are not associating any ordered property to that. Ordered property uh, property means here the nodes and parents have a relationship means they are ordered when you construct a binary tree then we have to maintain some relationship and if you maintain the relationship that makes this binary tree the ordered binary tree so what is this property we will look here so in the binary trees the nodes are arranged in some order means we, ha we have to maintain some relationship between the parent and child So in the binary search tree, all nodes in the left subtree have a values less than the root node. So here you can see that this is a tree which is maintained in such a way that in the left side we have all the values less than the root node and the right child will have all the values more than or equal to the root node. So you can see in the right subtree we have a value equal or greater than the root node. So if the tree nodes are maintaining this property then it is said to be a binary search tree. Now this rule is applicable to the entire tree. So when I say this uh, left child must be less than the root value and right child must be more than or equal to the root value. Now this is not only uh, to be applicable at the at the root of the tree but it has to be applicable at, at, uh, at all the sub trees. So if you are making any binary tree then it has to be applicable in this entire tree and also it has to be applicable at every tree or you can say at every node this property must be uh, applicable. So if the entire tree is fulfilling all these properties then this is said to be a binary search tree. A binary search tree may or may not contain duplicate values. Now these values which we are keeping in the node or you can say call it as a key value. Now the key values uh, can be duplicated depending on the logic or depending on the implementation. It all depends on the application. So in general, when we construct a binary search tree, most of the applications, uh, there is no duplication, but it, if your application permits, then duplication is also allowed. What does it mean? Duplication means, so when we are making a binary tree, then we are keeping some uh, key values here, let's say 12. And uh, here, all the values which comes left side will be less than this, let's say here 11 and right side will have all the values more than this root node, maybe 15. Now, a value can repeat also. So let's say uh, if you want to insert 11 again, already the 11 is here. Now if you want to insert 11 again, if the application allows, then what you will do? You will insert 11 here because the right child can have values either the equal to the root node or more than this. So 11 can be inserted here. So this is how the binary search tree can be constructed. Now let us look to this binary search tree to understand uh, in a more better way. So this is one tree where the root node is 39 and you can see that the left uh, subtree of this uh, of this tree consists uh, consists of all the values which is less than the root value. So if you see that 27, 18, 29 and all these values are less than this and the right subtree is uh, also having the values more than 39. So this is the first requirement of BST. 
one more thing this is not uh, seen here only at the root node but this property can be visible at all the labels what does that mean if you look at this tree so if you look at this part of the tree then you will find that the left child contains the values which is less than the root node and the right uh, subtree contains the values which is more than the root node and this is a visible in all subtrees so if you take this example here this 40 is less than 45 and all these values are more than 45 so this is binary search tree and this is the ordering property it means the left subtree must must hold the values which is less than the root and the right subtree must hold the value which must be more than the root or equal to the root also Now let us uh, see more about uh, binary search tree and we try to understand that what what is the purpose of studying binary search tree means what uh, what is the need of discussing this topic are we getting really benefit out of this uh, data structure so let us compare with this now binary search trees speed up the instruction and deletion operation so normally when we make any applications the very fundamental operation that we are doing is either you are inserting data to it or you are retrieving data to it or you are deleting the data to it so far we have uh, discussed about the linked list we discussed about the array so we have we are aware about that how the data are are actually certain related in these in these particular uh, form of data structures now we will see that how how these operations can be deferred by using binary search tree now let us uh, see more about its operation and its its performance now let us uh, read this line it is assumed to be better when uh, we are talking about the linear arrays or the linked list now when we talk about sorted array searching you can done in the sorted array in the in the log n time so if the sorted array is given to you and if you want to perform a search operation to it then we can apply the binary search and we know that binary search uh, running time is log n so you can get your data in log n time but the insertion and deletions are very expensive so if you are working with an array or a uh, sequence of uh, n element then the insertion and deletion will go up to uh, n cost that is big O of n so the insertion and deletions are really uh, costly operations but searching is uh, quite uh, uh, cheap uh, in, in case of the sorted array in contrast when we talk about inserting and deleting the element in the linked list it is easier because when you are inserting any data into the linked list when you want to insert a node in the, in the linked list then there is no need to move these uh, the successive nodes at one position but you can simply add a new node and then link that node uh, into the into the linked list we already discussed that how to insert a node into the linked list and this is a constant operation so searching may be costly in the in the case of linked list now here we have a trade off so if we talk about a uh, about the array and we talk about the insertion and deletion then insertion and deletions are very costly operations in the array but insertion and deletions are actually cheap operations in the linked list but when we talk about the searching the searching is again a, a costly operation in linked list because for searching you have to do only a linear search or a sequential search you cannot apply uh, the, the binary search in the linked list even if you're list is sorted because the linked list is a sequential axis and we cannot uh, move to the uh, to the mid element which is required in the binary search so both have the advantages and the limitation now when we talk about the binary search tree the binary search tree will give the advantages of the of both the approaches it will only be expensive or you can say binary search tree will only be providing a worst case when you have a data inserted in a in a sorted form means if you are if you are getting your list in this format where it is only extending in one direction so if you can see this is actually a sorted kind of uh, sequence 45 54 59 65 or if you are having a this kind of sequence 39 27 89 so if you are maintaining a data where data is are actually inserted in the sorting order then only 
uh, you will get its uh, performance is uh, as a worst performance otherwise in in general where the data is random and uh, it can take any values in that in such a cases binary binary search tree will be providing us a uh, better options means it will provide the better results when you are doing insertion and deletion and and such okay so we will uh, see in detail what what is the strategy of doing the search and deletion and search operations in the binary search tree then only we are in the position to analyze that which actually is better does uh, really the bst is helping us to perform this operation so we'll be in a, in our next slide we are going to discuss uh, in detail that how the search and deletion and search operations can be performed in a binary search tree so just uh, summarize that what is binary search tree so we have seen that binary search tree is a binary tree with with the ordering property and here the left subtree will contain all the values which is less than the root and the right subtree will contain the values which is either greater than or equal to the root and uh, this property must to be satisfied or applicable to the entire tree so this is the very uh, very short introduction of the binary search tree so in the, so in the next lecture we are going to talk about that how these operations in search and deletion and uh, search is performed so that we can analyze and we can compare it's running time with other data structures available. Okay, so this is all for this. Thank you very much.